Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVB Net video series on binary tree interview related question series and this video is about check if the trees are isomorphic or not. So we have this tree 1 and tree 2 and we have to check they are isomorphic or not. So before going further, I want to explain you what is isomorphic meaning. And you can ask these questions to your interviewer also like what do you mean by R's isomorphic because you may not be knowing the typical name but maybe you can solve that problem so never hesitate to ask questions to your interviewer so isomorphic like maybe this is your tree one and this is your tree two the point is can you convert this tree into this tree or can you convert this tree into this tree so it doesn't matter what you convert I mean which tree you convert from which tree the point is if you can convert then it is an isomorphic and the rule is you can only swap the children's below same parent meaning you can either swap this 2 with 3 or this 2 with this 3 to make these two tree look similar meaning swapping can happen below same parent like if you have this 5 here then 4 and 5 can be switched but this 5 cannot be switched maybe this 6 is there we cannot switch these two no this is not allowed because their parent is different now you understood right so only swapping is allowed and you can swap n number of time no problem so let's look at this question is this isomorphic or not i mean can you convert these trees to look like each other answer is no why actually you can swap these three and two so it would start looking like this and one is at its correct positions right so we don't have to do anything with that and four will come here so if you are swapping between then you have to swap your children's also so four will go here four cannot remain at this location because your children's meaning if you are swapping three then three's children's will also get swapped because they are its children okay so at max you can make this tree look like this much so you have this correct this correct see one and only two and three but this four should be at this location but four is at this location and you cannot make this four come to this location no you cannot do that because four is child of three not two so we cannot swap let me show you the case with isomorphic we can just convert this into this maybe and then can you convert this into an isomorphic so what you see is this two and three are not at correct place right so let's make them swap so we have swapped them but then this four will go to the right of this two right yeah now what is the change you want you want to make this four come to the left hand side okay so this guy can be swapped with null here we have null here right two's left is null so you can swap these two and make it look like this so we can convert this tree into this tree or this tree into this tree okay so you convert either tree from one to another one doesn't matter the point is you can convert or make these two look like same so let me show you the code for this and code would look little small code but it has a very big meaning to it so just be prepared for multiple recursion calls okay <laughs> so this was your original state and this is your function so see you have r1 root 1 and root 2 1 and 1 so what can be the different ways if you if you don't know this function don't look at this function right now you just look at these trees here if you want to see my tree is equal or not and that equality can be checked with swap also because it is possible that this tree is equal if you swap 2 and 3 or any swap if you swap under the same parent so how would you do that verification the point is see there are two ways you can do this either you can compare by going left meaning if you are standing here you can say if my left of this is equal to left of this if they are equal I'm good but as I told you that you can swap also this 2 can come here and 3 can come here then you can say that I have another true condition if this guy is equal to this guy also meaning 
R one's left is equal to R two's right also, then also I'm okay. I know my two, this guy can be equal to left of this or right of this. Okay, that's why you will see this. We have two conditions here. I mean, two recursive checks. I can say my roots left is equal to my roots right. I mean, root two's right. If this is true, then also I'm okay. So this is just one part. You have to check for the right also, like root one's right is equal to root two's right. Okay. So if you are going in this direction, like root one's left is equal to root two's left, then you have to tell root one's right is equal to root two's right. So this is one pair. Another pair is reversed. You say root one's left is equal to root two's right. Meaning you're saying this two can be equal to this place. And now see, now we are hitting the point. So now you can see we are not basically swapping anything and checking. We are having a condition or, uh, or a recursion in a such a way that we are allowing this condition also like my root one's left, which is this guy can be equal to root two's right, which is this guy. If they are equal, then also I'm good. Okay. And not only for the left and right, we can say root one's right, meaning this three is equal to root two's left, meaning this guy. So either this is true or this is true. I don't care. But any one of these should be true. See, we have or here. Either A is true or B is true. So if any one of them is true, then we will return true. Meaning we just compared and I found that I don't care which one is true, but I found that below this root, which is equal R1 and R2 should be equal. Okay. That's what we are checking in these condition. I'll come to this condition. So if R1 and R2 are same node, then their children either come in the same direction. The same direction is for this like left and left, right and right, or they can be in the swapped way also. So that swapped way we are checking here, see left with right and right with left. So it can be anything. I just want to be sure that either of this is true. If both are false, meaning it is false and you will just return from there. I hope you understood this point. Let's look at these terminating conditions. So the first point is if you are reaching at some null position simultaneously, meaning let's suppose we're talking about this particular call, then root one's left and root two's left, both are null pointer. Then also it is a true condition because they are looking similar, right? So this is for null check. If both are reaching to the null at the same time, because they have to reach to the null at some point, because this is recursion. And if both pointers are null, then also this is true condition. Otherwise it is false condition basically, because see for now, if you consider this as your root, this two, then you must be standing here for one of the recursion call. So you will compare this guy with this guy. Okay. So now you'll say this is your root two and this is your root one. If this root one's left, I mean, you'll send this guy four. So root one's left. So this is your four. And then this is root two, right? Root two's left is null. So you are sending these two and calling yourself. See the moment you reach here, your root one's data is actually a data and root two's data is actually null. So then this condition is not true this condition is true. Like either one is actually null and another one is having data. Then in that case, you have to return false because see, this is not equal to this guy, right? Because we have left children for, I mean, for this two, but for, for this three, we don't have any left children. Okay. So this is for that checking. You will only return true from here. If you hit both the nodes, null at the same time. If any one of them is having any value and another one is having null, meaning it is not same tree, then you will return false from there. And this is to check if you reach to some node and those nodes are not equal, like root one's data is not equal to root two's data. Then also you will return false because there is no point going further. You 
should have this equal to this in order to go further okay so these are three conditions if these conditions are true then only this recursion will keep calling itself and it will go below and traverse it is very easy right you just have to take care of these two possible conditions like either you can have this combination a true or b true and if you remember when we were doing this two trees are equal or not and now condition is you can swap them but before this video i mean in this series i have given a video where you just want to check whether two trees are equal or not in that case how we were doing so let's suppose this is your tree we have one one and two and three and two and three if you want to check whether these two trees are equal or not this is your tree one and this is your tree two how would you go about it similarly you will have this function with two node pointers okay so let's do that function r1 r2 and you will have some terminating condition but the main point is how would you traverse you would say this should be equal to this then only i will go further otherwise there is no point okay and if they are equal or they both are null pointer then also it's okay then also it is a true condition so you will return true from there if both are null pointer but if you will return i mean you will return false if both are not equal but in this case both are equal so now when you are calling yourself recursion how do you go about it r1's left comma r2's left this is what you are going to check right your r1's left should be equal to r2's left if you will send these two numbers again to yourself then you have this condition here right to check if r1 data is equal to r2 data or not if they are not equal then this tree is not equal correct so we had only one recursion call and yeah with and you have to send r1's right comma r2's right also like this first call but with this problem only one this thing is extra one recursion call is extra why because your swap is allowed so i am telling if my roots left is equal to root 2's right also then also i am fine that's what it is meaning if you have this swapped like we have 2 and 3 and 3 and 2 and we say that they are equal i mean now we are checking the isomorphic okay so these two are these three are equal because we can swap one's children to make it look like each other so you need this line for this comparison i think it is very easy give some time do some homework it will be very easy for you to understand this okay i know so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care and don't forget to hit the like button guys that helps me a lot bye bye